welcome back. Today I've got an exciting topic to discuss, the new Garmin Hill Score, a feature specifically designed to help you understand and improve your uphill running abilities. Introduced first on Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro and Epix 2 Pro, it is now expanding to other devices with the Q3 beta updates. Running uphill isn't just a straight line jog, but a different ball game altogether. This is where your hill score comes into play, helping transform those gruelling ascents into personal strengths, all while enhancing your overall running prowess. Imagine running uphill as a tug of war against gravity. It's you pushing your weight forward and upward, demanding more force, energy and a higher recruitment of your thigh and calf muscles than flat surface running. But there's more. Uphill running presents its unique biomechanical challenges, increased step rates, shorter swing phase durations and more mechanical work in your joints. Training specifically for these unique uphill conditions can significantly elevate your running success. Now you might be wondering, how does Garmin calculate your hill score? Well, Garmin uses a blend of your fitness and performance data, presenting a score between 0 to 100. A higher score signifies better uphill running proficiency. When you're out there running, walking or hiking, your Garmin device automatically detects and takes into account uphill segments with a grade over 2%. Your recent activities greatly influence your current score, but the analysis also considers data from the past several months. Furthermore, your score is benchmarked against other individuals of your age and gender, ensuring the improvements you see are truly meaningful. Your hill score isn't a standalone figure, but a combination of three critical elements, hill endurance, hill strength and VO2 max. Hill endurance gauges your muscles' capacity to sustain repetitive uphill efforts over extended periods. It's all about building fatigue resistance and maintaining long-term performance. Low-intensity activities gradually increased over time can significantly boost your hill endurance. On the other hand, hill strength is about power. It's your ability to tackle uphill stretches forcefully, combining high-intensity aerobic and anaerobic efforts. This is quite strenuous, so remember to allow ample recovery time between such efforts. Finally, we have VO2 max a measure of the maximum amount of oxygen your body can use during intense physical activity. A higher VO2 max value can greatly assist in uphill running. To start with, Garmin Hill Score needs at least two weeks of workout data, with a significant part of it involving uphill running. As you embark on your hill conquering journey, you can monitor your score on your Garmin device and track your progress in more detail with Garmin Connect. The analytics engine doesn't just calculate your score, but also provides personalised feedback to aid your uphill running improvement. Adding more uphill jogs to your training or enhancing your VO2 max are just a few examples. The Garmin Hill score landed on Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro and Epix 2 Pro to begin with, but it has rolled out in beta form in the past few days to a bunch of devices. This includes the Forerunner 955, Garmin Phoenix 7 Series, Enduro 2 and a few others. Master the uphill game with Garmin Hill score and transform yourself into a more efficient and strong runner. That's it for now. Stay tuned for more updates.